In this video, let us see the steps to assign authorization groups to programs and then see how we can use those authorization groups in the authorization object s underscore program to restrict access to the programs. Okay, so let us first go and pick two programs uh, which we can use to assign the authorization group. So what we will do is we will assign two different uh, authorization group to each or each or uh, to each of them. Okay, so that go to transaction is 16 and use the table tr dir. Okay, so this table tr dir has the list of programs uh, with the authorization groups associated with those programs. So Let's go and select programs that begin with a Z and execute. And you have five programs here that we see. And the authorization group field is in uh, the CCU is the authorization group field. Okay, so you will have the authorization group values assigned here. Okay, now you other have you have other information about the program also as to who created it, when it was created, and all that. Okay, so let's pick these two programs. And save it. Okay, now the table shows that there is no authorization group associated with the programs, right? With these two reports. So let's go and check. AC38, okay, so the there are two ways of assigning authorization groups to programs, okay? One is using SC38. You can enter the program name in SC38 and the developers will have to do this, you know. So, you select attributes and click on change. Okay, and in the authorization group, you can assign the authorization group. Okay, this is one way of doing it. Let us see the other way of doing it, right? So this program, this report does not have the authorization group. So let's see that the other one, right? The Z program download. Okay, so let's go to attribute and say display. So even this program does not have the authorization group. So one way, like I said, using a C38 attributes, you can de developers can go and change, and then assign the attributes. Sorry, and assign the authorization group. Another way of doing it is using S C38 or S C38, and using the program R S C S A U T H. Okay, which is maintain and restore authorization groups okay now ex execute this program and next you assign enter the program okay the report or the program name to which you want to assign the authorization group okay you enter it in the program name field keep this and under maintain Keep this create and change checkbox. Okay, checked. Execute it. And you get two columns here. Okay, one is SAP, other is customer. So if the program already has an authorization group assigned to it, you will get that authorization group name under the SAP column. Okay. And if you want to assign a new authorization group to the program, you specify that authorization group under the customer uh, column. Okay, so let's say I want to assign this to ZBS or let's say Z Fuel. Okay, this is the program, uh, this is our authorization group. I want to associate with this program okay 
So once you specify the authorization group under the customer column, select the program name, okay, for which you want to change the authorization group or assign the authorization group and click on save button. So you get a box like this, copy authorization group from TRDIR, okay, and say yes. Authorization groups were added, okay. Now let's do the same step. Let's do the same for this program, the second one. Okay, so go back and then for this program, let's say program download, uh, keep the main to create change checkbox on and click on execute. And let's say for this, I want to assign, uh, let's say ZDEF. Okay, select the program and click on save. Copy, change DR, TR, DR entries, right? Say yes. So now the authorization group is assigned. Okay, so let us confirm this. So this is one way, the second way of assigning the authorization groups to programs. Okay, the first one we saw was using SA38 attributes. Okay, this is the second me second mechanism. All right, so let's go over to SC38 and see if this authorization groups are assigned or not. Okay, so give the program names. Okay, and say attributes and display. So you don't have anything here, right? So let's go and check the other one. It's not there. Okay. So which means there is another step that we need to execute. So because this authorization groups, okay, they are not listed in the table as a 16. There's another table called TPGP. Okay. If you go to table contents and we had ZDEF. Okay. You don't have that entry here. And you also used ZFury, right? So let's check whether we have this authorization group in this table. So TPGP table. Okay, if you go to S11, this is a table that contains the program list of program authorization groups. Okay, so those two entries are not there. So how do we update the table, right? TPGP table. So you go to SC38 or SA38. And you use a program called RSA B A U T H. Okay, pass authorization groups from TRDIR to TPGP. So execute this and then specify the program name. So what we are doing is whatever authorization group is associated with the program in TRDIR table, that authorization group we are updating updating that into TPGP table. Okay, so remove the check test run and say execute. Okay, so Z Fury. Okay, let's do this for the second one, second program also. Okay, now execute and Z Dev, right? Okay, so let's go and check. TPGP table first and then say Z Fury. Okay. See, so let's say if it's execute. So you have it in the table now. Right. The other one was Z Dev. Let's execute. And you have it there. Let's go and check if you have this associated with programs
change the program name now and uh, let's pick uh, the program and check the attributes okay and click on display so you see z fury is assigned to this program now okay and let's check the other one and check the attributes for that program too now you have z dev here right okay now let's see how we can use these authorization groups for uh, with s underscore program to restrict access to reports and programs okay so let's go to pfcg and create a role called uh, z program okay and here let's go enter let's say testing program access and in the role let's assign the transaction let's say sa38 and sa53 assign transactions and go and maintain the authorizations I want to execute programs, right? SA38. So in the authorization group field, let's say we give ZDEF. Okay, which is for this program, the authorization group that we assigned was Z Fury. And for this, we gave ZDEF. Okay. So let's see with this access can the user execute both the reports okay so we are restricting access to executing programs to only programs that belong to the group zdef so let's go and create a user id now test user id say zprg1 okay create test user in the logon data tab let's select the service type user type as service because we don't want to change the password and in the roles what was that Z program? Save it and just log in with this user ID now. Executed SA38 and let's see what happens if I execute the Z Fury program first. Okay, let's say execute. Submit authorization for Z Fury required, right? So if you go and execute slash and SA53, you see the authorization group value it is looking for is z fury okay now let's test the other one and let's 
let's see if we are able to execute this program so it does but it gives an overlap them because maybe there is a program error uh, since the program may not be completely developed but the point is we did not getting authorization error in this case right but in case of this program we got the error so let's go and modify the role and add includes a z fury authorization group also into the role now generate the rule okay let's go to the test user id anyway let's execute and this time let's also execute this program now see if this now if you have access to the program execute and you get the selection screen right so now you're you're able to execute that program so this is how you assign authorization groups okay using uh, the program rs cs uth okay this is the program that it use and when you execute this program okay whichever authorization group you want to assign uh, to the program you specify that in the customer column under customer column okay and after you have assigned the authorization group if it is a custom one that you have specifying right you also have to update the tpgp table okay which contains the list of authorization groups for programs and to update that list that is to transfer the authorization groups from the tr tir table to uh, tpgp table the the program that you would use is rsa b a u t h okay so these are the two programs that you would use to assign authorization groups to programs